Hello, Tia here. I am in the lovely Gaylord Hotel in Nashville. I mean, come on, look at this view. Let me show you down below. Whoa, wowzers, okay? This is the perfect place to have a conversation about choosing a wig for your special event, whether it's a wedding, whether you're attending a wedding, whatever the scenario might be, you have some considerations when deciding to wear a wig for your special event and what that wig should be. So if you want to learn more about that, then stick around. My name's Tia. I'm owner and operator of Tia Maria Wigs, wig coach, wig educator, wig enthusiast, all things wiggy. And like I said, we are on this gorgeous location in Nashville talking about things that you should think about when you're choosing to wear a wig for your special day or which wig to choose for your special day. So let's start with the first and foremost is consider your needs with regard to what the event is and where it is. Okay. Although it looks like I'm outside, I am not. The Gaylord Hotel is in this like crazy, huge biodome. So although everything looks like it's outside, it is inside. But if your event is going to be outside, if it's going to be in a, a location that is a different climate than what you're used to, potentially it might rain, it might be too hot, all of the things, right? Consider your wig choice with regard to the location, the weather, and also the type of event. If it is a special event, but it's one of those ones where maybe it's a destination wedding and you might be having to go here for the wedding and here for the reception and something's inside, something's outside, make sure you choose a wig that is gonna function well in all of those scenarios. So that would be my first advice. What event are you going to? What is the event for? and what sort of activities are going to be happening. So the next thing that you're going to want to consider when you are choosing a wig for your special day is your budget. Maybe that's the first thing that you need to consider, but your budget is really going to be important. You can find the perfect wig for your event, location, climate, all of those different things within your budget, but it is really important to know what your budget is so that you don't just like a dress or an outfit or what have you fall in love with something that is outside of that budget, okay? If you need help with finding a wig within your particular budget for a specific event, I would suggest working with professional, maybe like myself. I do personal shopping, I do wig consultations, I do all of that. So you can visit me, tmwigs.com. You can email me to ask me questions or to help you find your perfect wig, tia at tiamariawigs.com. Or if you are in Pennsylvania or near Pennsylvania, you can come in and visit the store, set up a private appointment, and we will find the perfect wig for your perfect special event in your perfect budget. So that would be my next tip. Another tip for finding a wig for your special day is to consider the theme of the event. So it's so awesome that we can wear whatever. With wigs, the styles, colors, lengths, textures are endless, right? So if you want to lean into the theme, that may be a fun thing to do. No matter what though, remember and consider what your face shape is, what your skin tone, skin undertone is. Though the options are endless with regard to wearing wigs for your special day, the thing about it is, is you wanna still make sure it's gonna work for you. We can change our wig, but we cannot change our face shape. We cannot change our skin tone or undertone. So those things are static. So when you're choosing that wig, remember to keep those things in mind. Okay, so we have considered what our event is, what the theme of the event is. We have considered the location, maybe any weather type things. And we know kind of basically what our budget is. So then it's like, okay, what are the options in terms of cap construction? You can get a lace front wig, you can get a basic cap that has no lace, no lace to cut, no lace to mess with. You can also get a mono top, which is going to give you some different styling options. I would say overall, if you want it to look as natural as possible, go for a lace front. Even with a sort of budget scenario, you can get a wig that has more of like a lace front edge, like there's a lot of wigs from Aesthetica. So they're gonna give you that lace front feel, the versatility of a mono top, but the budget is gonna be not as tight, okay? If you wanna do any extravagant styling, 
braiding, things like that, you're definitely gonna want to probably go more with a monofilament top because then you can move things around, you can style it different ways, put braids in and things like that. So now you've decided what you need, what your styling needs are, what your budget is, picking the cap construction, and choosing the type of wig. So next consideration is experimentation. Now, I actually don't think it's a bad idea to experiment with your wigs for your special day, but the caveat to that is experiment ahead of time. Don't be trying the day of, if you wanna experiment with a new color, a new style, special events, especially themed events, are perfect for that. And I would say lean into that, but prepare ahead of time for that type of a scenario. And then last but not least, I would say consider accessories. Consider if you want to wear accessories, consider if you are gonna need to wear accessories, whether it's a wedding and you're gonna be wearing a veil, maybe you are in the bridal party and the bride wants a particular accessory. Consider the accessory when choosing the wig. Now, for most scenarios, accessories can actually help your wig in terms of additional security, depending on what it is. But like for veils, if it's like some type of fascinator, if you're gonna be wearing a hat with the wig, definitely consider those, try them on together and make sure that it's gonna fit. Because when you're wearing a wig, not only is it like, if you have bio hair, you have your hair braided down, you have your wig cap, you have your wig, and then you're gonna put a hat on that. So your size, hat or whatever that you would normally maybe go for is not necessarily going to work in this particular scenario. So just make sure that you are choosing accessories that can help. You're choosing a wig that will work with the particular accessory or accessories that you're wanting to wear. So those are sort of my quick tips, thoughts, things to consider when choosing a wig for your special day. If you have any tips, thoughts, or tricks please put them down below let's have this conversation you know as a new wig wearer special events travel weddings all those types of things wearing wigs is a whole thing that we do right it's a whole other life and you know you don't go to special events every single day so these are maybe things that you're not even thinking about so if you have some tips some thoughts some do's and some don'ts please put them down below and if you haven't subscribed to the channel please do so we're doing all of this special event travel related content we have a full playlist that'll be linked down below and if you haven't joined our private facebook group it's tia maria's wig hangout on facebook we have no drama there but we support you with everything wig wearing and thank you so much for watching don't forget to give me a thumbs up and i'll see you soon bye